Will, did it feel like it was easier to get into a rhythm today? And, and I know you said you weren't happy with uh, the way you ran last week. Just, did you feel like you did a better job overall? Yeah, it was, it was definitely a little bit easier to get easier to get into a rhythm. Um, you know, it was, it was nice. Everything was a, a little bit slower for us offensively. Uh, we were able to you know, progress through you know everything we needed to progress through our reads, and uh, you know I was able to read the you know, offensive line a lot better. So yeah, it, it, it was it was definitely easier than than UGA was. Um, and you know, still, still had a, you know, a couple of plays I look back on and you know, either could have made them bigger or you know, made a different move. So, you know, not, not satisfied, but uh, you know, happy with my performance. Hey, well, Trevor Gross from CTigers.com. Uh, you and uh, Will Taylor had, had some nice returns today. Um, how, how, fun, how much fun are you guys having as freshmen making such a big impact in the special teams? Yeah, you know, it's awesome. Uh, you know, just the fact that Coach Green uh, puts his trust in the you know, go back there and you know, return the ball. Uh, you know, so happy for Will Taylor. Uh, this is, you know, really the first, you know, out, out, outcome. He uh, made a couple big plays. He, he should have been the first to score a touchdown, um, but, you know, got got called back. Uh, yeah, that, I mean, that punt return was really, really impressive. You know, just a couple he did. Even how he did last week at UGA, just catching him. Uh, you know, that's a lot of pressure, and you know, he, he's done you know, such, such a great job. So I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of him. I'm just really proud of Coach Sweeney. Uh, you know, puts trust in us as freshmen. Well, can you just speak to how much the offense needed this game and, and to get off to a fast start like, like y'all did, scoring touchdowns in your first four possessions, um, obviously after the struggles last week? Yeah, it was very important for us to, you know, come out firing on all, all cylinders today. Uh, an offensive line, uh, to quarterback, to receivers, to, to even us running backs, you know, we all needed confidence. And I feel like this game really gave us that. Uh, just that, you know, we can go out there and, and, and we can click. You know, we can do our thing and, and not have to worry about, you know, what's on the defensive side, whether it's UGA or South Carolina State. Um, you know, so that definitely gave us confidence. And, you know, we're definitely stepping in the right direction. We just got to continue to progress and uh, – you know, look forward to Georgia Tech next week. Well, Gavin Oliver with the Clemson Insider, what was it like uh, playing in Death Valley for the first time, running down the hill for the first time? Was it everything you expected or even more so? Yeah, it was definitely more than I, I expected. Uh, you know, just riding around that bus and, and seeing everybody in the stadium. Um, you know, you, you really can't even even dream about it. Uh, it's something that you just got to see and you got to – you got to go through it. It, it was it was probably the coolest experience that, that I've had since I I've I've gotten to Clemson and uh, you know just you know rubbing that rock running down the hill and, and going to pray in the other uh, in the other end zone is is something that I'll remember for the rest of my life and I'm I'm so glad I chose Clemson and you know that I I get to partake in that. Will, this is Grace Rayner from the Athletic. Just stylistically, how would you compare and contrast you and Kobe as runners? Yeah, you know, Kobe, first of all, he's, he's, he's been so awesome, um, you know, as, as a leader for me. Uh, he's kind of taken me under my wing since I got here in January, helped me out with the playbook, done, you know, done everything to, to help me. Uh, you know, but as runners, we, you know, we, we're like a one-two punch. Um, you know, we have a lot of the same characteristics, but, you know, also different characteristics. And, uh, you know, we just both kind of play our own game. And, you know, we have a lot of confidence in ourselves and in each other. Uh, as, as well as all the other running backs in the room. But, um, you know, Kobe's he's such a great player. I, you know, I, I love being kind of, you know, his compliment. And, uh, you know, I really look forward to, uh, you know, kind of how that progresses throughout the season and uh, just to see how successful he's going to be. Will, can you take us through your second touchdown run and, and just what it meant to you scoring a couple of touchdowns? Yeah, it was it was crazy. You know, the first, first drive out of the second half and um, – you know, started off with a, a good inside zone play and just kind of start driving down the field, get a couple throws in there, have a little trouble on that you know, outside zone for the boundary. Uh, you know, we won't get for the green red zone. Um, and then, you know, called call a draw play on about 15, 20 yard line. I forget where it was, honestly. And, uh, you know, before the play, I, I kind of knew it was going to be a you know, backside eight gap, just how the you know, defense structure was. So, uh, you know, took my, took my one step, read it. Uh, you know, Marcus Tace released. Got number 15, made a little move on that, and then had, had a little contact going in, into the end zone. Um, yeah, but it was, it was incredible just to, to get into the end zone here, here at Death Valley. is It's unreal. That's really the only way I can explain it. Um, I'm, I'm at a loss for but both times, you know, I, I got in the end zone tonight. I, 
I, I really, I, I didn't know it to me myself. So, um, you know, I, I look forward to, you know, anytime I can get in there, I was very blessed to get in there today. I'll take one more for Will. So this is uh, Tyler Butler from Sports and Culture. Uh, you have all-time great Clemson running back, CJ, over there on the sideline. Have you got an opportunity to maybe brain a little about what he sees on the field? Yeah, you know, every time I come off the field, you know, I, I, you know, ask a couple questions and, you know, he's always very grateful to answer. Uh, he's been a great coach. Um, you know, I'm, I'm so blessed to, you know, have him as, as, as somebody to, you know, teach me the game of football, not only the game of football, but the game of life. Um, so, so happy that, you know, that's someone I can go to. And uh, you know, just the fact that it is CJ Spiller and, and what he's accomplished, what he's done, you know, how he's looked at, uh, you know, as, as a, Football alumni, uh, it's, it's pretty insane that, that I can call it my coach. Thank you. Thank you, guys.